Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a very exciting video. We're going to be replacing my fire alarm system. If you've seen one of my recent videos, it was the last test of the SFP-10UD. That was my last full test of that panel with this one still up on the system. So something new is here at this point that will be replacing the system. We've got to change out all our old devices, rewire some bits of the system, change our detectors, so here are our, is our components of the new system. I am missing one detector, so we've got four pull stations to replace all the existing ones. We've got two heat detectors and one smoke detector. So yeah, there's our one smoke detector. These two are heat detectors, but I'm still waiting on another smoke detector, so I'm just gonna have to, I guess, program the system without it. I'll figure out something, but this might be a multi-purpose multiple part video if this is called part one then it is multiple part so we've got to start by removing the guts of the old system we are going to start by powering down our old system for the final time there we go so at this point i'm probably just going to have some of it of a fast speed part because this is going to take a while so Let's begin. Now I need to knock out some of the knockouts. So right here on this far side, I need a three quarter inch knockout knockout, which means I need to knock out both of these. Two half inches knocked out. Two 
here's where we're at with the panel though. I got our batteries connected, not plugged in. I got our 120 volts wired up going up here. I've got our low voltage circuits grounded. Got all our conduits back in. I got these guys. That's not very nice looking. I've got our NACs here wired up. We'll get that more pretty looking later. So because I had access, I kind of looped it around back and then down. And I have all my circuits tie wrapped to the frame. Now I have our SLC. SLC right here, which I'll get into the way I have this wired a lot more later. We have actually our tower pull station because I'm going to have to get a modern module for it. And maybe nice later for it because I don't want that to bring down the rest of the SLC if something should happen. Because that part is kind of just for fun and not actually really protecting anything. I may have to still do some relay stuff once I bring the security stuff in. That's the last thing I'm worried about. I'm going to need a bigger... Um, uh, what's it called? Bigger NMD connector to go into there or some sort of connector. I'm going to need some knockout fillers for these knockout. Looks like they've knocked it out three quarter, but maybe even one inch. So I'll pick up whatever I need for that. And that I will do because I don't have them right now. So the seller actually told me that the door, that the, the lock on it, was broken and it doesn't come with a key which no it doesn't come with a key but the lock seems to work fine to me got my door over here so i'm going to throw my door on and the previous seller didn't actually wipe the panel it still had its old old everything on it it had a whole bunch of invalid replies on its old stuff that it was expecting to be there but obviously weren't what am i doing here um so i think this panel is actually in new condition. I don't think it was removed because the building was getting the building was bad or there was anything wrong with the system. Because it said trailer one through trailer twelve different circuits and uh, corridor and stuff. So I'm wondering almost if it's some sort of portable building setup. If you watch any of my firearm system or firearms in the field videos, you know I do some stuff with the involved with the testing in my school district. And my school district is way over capacity for the amount of schools, so we got portables everywhere. And um, those portables have firearm systems that sometimes a whole booster panel, so I'm wondering if that's sort of the setup this was doing. But they call theirs trailers, or some sort of mobile, mobile setup. That's sort of what I'm thinking, but here's our door, looking good up here. I'll get a firelight key. I haven't used a firelight key in forever. It's been a long time since I've had a firelight panel. So, I keep reaching for my notifier key. Firelight key. Locks. Opens key retaining when it's unlocked. Firelight locks aren't very good. You can actually take a notifier key, notifier, put it in the lock, doesn't turn, won't open it, but if you jiggle it, opens it right up. So that, they're a different key, I promise. Our next step is to rewire and basically connect our two existing zones together. The SLC, I'm going to be wiring it class A because I have two conventional circuits going out from the panel right now. One of those conventional circuits, zone 1, the pull station 1, ends at this device, my end of line resistor. Smoke detector is our end of line device on zone 2. We're going to wire this pull station to this detector. So there's basically one loop that goes out and back to the panel. Now it's a complete loop. It doesn't T-tap off anywhere. A complete loop. So we need to basically do that right now. Fill in that wiring in between the two. And pull out our underlying resistors from each device since it's an SLC. doesn't need that. So got some wire. Let's do this. Thank you. 
I've pulled out the staple and re put it in around both wires. So now I'm going to need to run this wire all the way up here and through the lock part up to there. That's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for part one of replacing the fire alarm system. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna end this one here. I've got our wire pulled up to there. I still have to run it into that box, but that'll be part two because I have to take the detector down. And uh, I actually don't have one to go back up there yet. But either way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Leave any comments or questions down below and make sure to come back for part two. Thanks for watching.